Hello ladies, it's Nanny from Nanny and the Moose. And today we're gonna take a walk on the wild side. I, yesterday, had a fabulous haul at a thrift store and I got some wild jewelry, some wild earrings, some wild kimonos, and we're gonna have fun today. I also bought some lamps. I have a new one up there. I have three or four table lamps, and I'm so excited about this. Now, I'm going to show you some of my new kimonos. I'm going to show you a little bit of the jewelry that I picked up, wild jewelry. And this is not the classic nanny. This is the wild rogue nanny. And then I'm gonna show you how to do that turban that I wear with some of my kimonos. Isn't this wild? It's gold and black, and I thought it was so beautiful. You could wear this to a dress up evening, even to a fancy luncheon. Let me move this chair so you get a good look at it. Time you just wear it with some pants, not wide pants, I would say, because this is wide. I would say slimmer pants, maybe some silky pants that sort of hug the legs. But don't you love it? And my jewelry goes with it. Now, in my last video, uh, you'll see a picture of me in a wild, stripy, uh, all different colors, a kimono that I called Joseph's Coat of Many Colors. And in it, I had my hair all up and I wrapped my head in this turban with a big knot on the side. And a lot of the ladies loved it, but I did make it from a scarf. Now, the scarf that I used was this one. And I'm going to stand up to show you a few things. It's about this wide and I would say maybe five, six feet long. And I am going to try and do that, this, the same thing, but with my hair down this time, rather than pull it up. And I thought that the black would really look nice, but this isn't quite as big. It's probably the same width, but not quite as long. Um, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Now this one, because it's not quite as wide or as big, probably will have an open crown. And that's okay too. It looks really cute when your hair is down. Um, probably I would have pulled back my hair maybe behind my ears. So I'm gonna start this way. And I'm gonna cross it in the back. I wanna get that tag out of the way. Cross it in the back. Nope, it's not gonna work. It's, this one isn't long enough. Your scarf has to be quite a bit longer. Let's see if I can pull this off. Uh, pull it, oh yeah, maybe I can get a little knot over here. So you make your little knot, you twirl your ends together so that you can knot them here. Okay, it's not gonna work because it's not long enough. You, you go around and around and twist it until, yeah, that's not bad. Now you, this would be open in the crown, not so much. Actually, I think the crown is filled in, look. Um, so you, you make a bigger knot. If you had a, a longer scarf, it would be. So, so that's kind of all you do with these. Play with it. Play with your scarves. The other one that I used to use, I used to do these turbans all the time back in the 70s. It works better if your scarf is that Indian cotton, uh, soft and more pliable. So that's the look with the turban. Okay. Now, I'm gonna show you some of the other ones, the other kimonos. I did only get one other kimono yesterday. Um, I saw a couple of them, but I have probably five or six kimonos of my own. So um, I'll show you some of the ones that I have. I'll model them. 
I'm feeling so wild. We're gonna have fun with this video. This one is pretty. It's very sheer and very light. The other one is much dressier. You know, when I run out to the store, I actually throw these on because you don't wanna get dressed up and be fashionable going to the market. I have these and I throw them on and they're so cool in the summer and yet you look put together with them. Now let me stand up and show you this one. This is cute. Now this one is light, it's airy. Do you see the animal print? Isn't it pretty? I love the design. The sleeves aren't quite as big and kimono-y as the other one. And you could wear this with tan pants or brown pants or a brown skirt, maybe a cocoa colored uh, t-shirt. I think it's uh, really, really lovely. And it, it's pretty with the gold jewelry or you could wear silver jewelry with this one too. Cute. Love this. I did model this in the garden. And it was all the colors of the garden. Isn't this one pretty? My daughter gave me this one for Mother's Day and I did wear it on Mother's Day. Part of it is um, sheer and just all pretty, pretty wild colors. Love this one. And this comes from a catalog. I'll put the name of the catalog right underneath. Pretty, isn't it? I'll put one or two this more. This is one of my favorite colors, the turquoise color and the flowers. I always get compliments on this one. Now each one is constructed a little differently than the other. Some have the wide, big, long kimono sleeves and some are just kind of straight down. This one is a pretty color though, isn't it? Love the color. Now sometimes what I do, if I don't want to go all flowy, I take the ends and I tie them and kind of wear it that way. This one's a little dressier and I would wear this probably with my turquoise and silver jewelry. Pretty, pretty colors in this one too. This one you could tie and you can feel very wild in them. But you can find these anywhere. You, in the, they're all over the thrift shops. And honestly, you'll only pay three or four dollars for a kimono in most thrift shops. Um, if you punch in uh, on Google or on Amazon the word kimono, you would get a million kimonos from all sorts of companies. And they're beautiful. Here's my Joseph's coat of many colors. I gave it a biblical name because it did remind me of the story of Joseph. And this is the scarf that I made my headgear out of. So it kind of went pretty with it. <laughs> Just to give you an idea. Pretty, isn't it? Maybe now it's time to show you some of the jewelry. I love the colors in this one. And this is your typical kimono. This was one of mine now. I didn't get this at the thrift shop. I'll stand further back. This is, the sleeves aren't as um, wide as the others. Probably waiting for the jewelry, right? <laughs> Had enough of kimonos. Now we're on to my thrift shop haul. I was at a Savers and Savers are all over in a lot of states. And to me, actually, I went out looking for a TV cabinet. Our adobe cottage here is 90 years old and doesn't have closets, doesn't have heat, but oh, does it have charm. We love it. But um, we, we, I'm not a minimalist, as you can tell, and we do have trouble with space. So I couldn't find what I was looking for, but the only other time that I'd been to a thrift shop in the past year, and I love my thrifting, not only for the house, but for the kids and everything. Uh, and I was out with Dub one day. We had luncheon in Orange County and we went to a lot of thrift shops. I did a video on that, the epic thrift shop haul video. And 
We had so much fun, but I hadn't been to my normal ones by myself. Oh, so I had the cart loaded. You know, you know what happens when you haven't been out in a while and I've been getting out now and it's such a wonderful feeling. But anyway, I will show you the rest of my haul. I got two floor lamps. One is here. Another one is beautiful. It's antique and it has a beautiful um, stain kind of a, a cut glass top on it. And I'll show you that one in the next video. And three table lamps that are uh, vintage. They're really, really pretty. It's dark in the Adobe. We don't have a lot of um, outlets on the walls, so we have to use those strips and things. But we do need some nice light in corners and things to brighten it up. I did get some clothing, a beautiful Liz Claiborne blouse, which I will show you in the next video, and a beautiful Harvey Bernard silk blouse that will match my khaki gaucho pants that I bought at Walmart. So I have some outfits. What else did I get? Oh, copper and shoes and whatever. So that's another haul. So we're today we're just talking kimonos and jewelry. So this lovely man in the jewelry counter was helping me and he was just a sweetheart, an older man. I did find some great rings and bracelets. Now, I don't know whether you noticed the cuffs as I was modeling, and I'm gonna show you these. These are gold tone. Of course, this is all costume jewelry, but I love this. This is an expandable gold bracelet. It's very expensive looking, and I love this cuff. The cuff is beautiful. And since I'm taking a walk on the wild side, I have to wear both of them together. The earrings are very large hoops. And all these things ran from $1.99 for a couple of the rings up to, I think the most expensive piece was $3.99. So ladies, you don't have to spend a lot of money to accessorize things. Try your thrift shops if you're not already a, a thrift shop fan. Um, the ring I love, I hope you can see it. It has a pearl. It has a, a dark black stone, a rose, and some tiny, I think they look like silver or gold, little tiny, um, of course it's costume, but isn't it pretty? Now, I, I always go for the, the large chunky jewelry, mainly because my hands are not dainty and I just, I'm attracted to go big or go home. That's me jewelry, glasses, the whole bit. And um, this one I loved. Now, in the rings, I'm gonna have to put my glasses on here to be able to pick them out here. Some of the other rings I got, this one I love. Um, and, and this goes with a lot of the things that I have, the turquoise. This will blend with a lot of, I have some of the green turquoise, I have the dark, deep blue and I have um, the in-between and I just love this and I love wearing rings on my index finger so this this was a pretty one up close let's see what else now um oh I love this one this one is silver and I'm going to take off my gold bracelets and I'm going to show you a beautiful silver cuff bracelet that I got this one was probably my most expensive piece. Isn't that beautiful? Don't you love it? And it goes with this ring. The ring is um, raised, quite a bit raised, and it's a series of, of uh, silver bands. And it looks so pretty with this cuff, doesn't it? So this will go with my silver. Now I do have my, my own, I love hoops. Mostly I wear hoops. I think they're pretty classic. These are my, my uh, go big or go home type ones I bought at the thrift shop. These are gold and I think these were $1.99 and I love them. Can you see them that close? And so this was my only pair of earrings that I could find. I have a lot of vintage and I have a lot of uh, family jewelry. I have my, my grandmother's gold pocket watch on a gold chain and I wear that a lot. So I do wear my hoops and I do wear over the years, 
And these are mine. I didn't get these at the thrift shop, but I do wear bangles. And these are all my 14 karat bangles that over the years, Moose and the children have given me these. More of our thrift jewelry. Let's see. Now this ring, I love too. I love, I do have a, a David Yerman um, onyx, black onyx ring, which I wear a lot. You've probably seen that a lot on me. And that's big and I've worn it for years. And I found this, which is black, but it's costume jewelry. And unfortunately it won't go over my little arthritic knuckle here, but it will fit my pinky. It's a little big on the pinky. But see, it swings around, but I might um, put something on the back. But do you see how raised it is? Isn't that one unusual? So this is another go big or go home piece. And it does have the silver tones on it. So it will look nice with silver bangles or this silver cuff. But this one is pretty. And I'll try and put it up closer on this finger. Can you see? I should do it this way. Isn't that a beautiful ring? so exotic looking one other one that does fit beautifully isn't that beautiful now this i did get two belts by the way and one had a big big tiny rhinestone um uh big buckle in the front it was all tiny rhinestones it would match this isn't this one pretty it's it's big and it fits my ring finger now there are two little tiny rhinestones missing. However, I do have a, a jewelry kit and I do have some of those little, I think I used it for a craft project at one point. And I'm gonna glue two little tiny rhinestones back in this ring. But I thought this was pretty and um, would be very, very pretty with the belt with some sort of a dressy outfit too. So that's my rings, my two cuffs, and my gold expandable bracelet. I did get this one and I love these too. I have a lot of these types of stones. Sometimes I will stack them and um, this, this will go with a lot of things I have. In fact, I did have some beads this color. I, wanted, I thought I had them and I got out a bead necklace that I have that'll match that nicely too. So I think that's my, that's my jewelry. Let me see up here. There's some other things up in here. Nope. Thrift shops are wonderful, ladies. Some things are brand new with tags on them. Um, once again, my strategy is the same as when I shop in Walmart or Ross or Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Find that one outfit or that one item that is reasonably priced that you love, and then you can accessorize it with a great bag, a great pair of shoes, maybe a great shirt or a big great pair of pants, a hat, and you look like a million bucks. And I think that's about it for our our little thrift haul for the day. Jewelry and kimonos, a little on the wild side, but fun. Thank you so much for watching. I love all those thumbs up. That's so important for us as we go ahead with YouTube. They like to see that. I love you all. Bye for now.